Welcome back on the VST Venice Beach Stack channel guys, second video for today. I'm not sure is it Christmas or not, but yes, this is happening, so that's my second video for today. Check them. I want to show you guys an interesting piece of software I just found out. Maybe it's not new, I'm not sure, but I think it's very interesting, so I think you deserve to know about this. And before sharing this on my Samsung, I want to share something on my Pixel. Now a lot of people are saying, yeah, you know, we have a very old Pixel 3 XL and etc. But I'm running here the latest Android 12. And one of the major improvements inside Android 12 is Google's universal search. Let me illustrate. You go inside and you can search phone and more. Right? And speaking about more guys, just see what happens when I type volume control. This is absolutely integrated, so you can see I can do this from here and from here, right? And it is absolutely integrated. One of the new fancy things, of course, there are more to this, right? So if I am to type Spotify, right, just see what happens. I can open the application, but I can also go and open one of the playlists. Okay, so this is universal search and there are of course many other things uh, right now some of this is settings right when you just type let's say settings You get a lot of nice things to be done directly and of course also you can interact with your contacts But speaking about this this here is the Samsung S21 Ultra running the One UI 4 beta 4 which is also Android 12 and you know how things work, right? Google is just doing Android, they put it on a pixel and then all the other vendors like Xiaomi and OnePlus and also Sony and Samsung and Oppo, all the others, right? They just do things on their own. Now, what will happen inside if I go here inside my Samsung and I'll type volume, right? You can just see, yeah, for some reason I get Revolut, but I don't get here what I need. I just get a link to the settings, but when I click here, I just enter my settings. So no way for me to regulate the volume, okay? What will happen if I, for example, just type here Spotify, let's take a look, okay, I'm going to inside. I up Spotify and then I see some recommendations but as simple as that right so it's not so well integrated but there is one application guys and this application changes it all it's called Sizami right Sizami right here and I'm gonna show you guys what it does so you open it right and boom you pretty much have like the same interface see here though I have access to many of my applications but see what happens guys if I keep scrolling down I'm just going to minimize my keyboard all my contacts are there and even more I can access directly some Spotify playlist like directly from here and yeah another program why not so you can do plenty of things with this season and I want to share you guys a very short walkthrough what is possible all right first thing you notice once you go inside of course there are the settings the Sesame app operates with a lot of shortcuts, right? So it will scan all the applications running on your phone and it will offer you shortcuts. Now I can give an example, for example the camera, you can just go photo and video, right? But then I have contacts. Right now guys, I have all my contacts as standalone shortcuts. I, I can just simply toggle off, 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 no contacts anymore. Then I have the device files and then I have gallery, I have Gmail, I have Google Mail and I just want to scroll down and find the Spotify so that you can see scrolling down Spotify all my playlists guys and you can toggle this off you can toggle this on and you can just make this so fine-tuned against your wishes one example guys i can go inside the telegram right now i have all my chats and contacts right but you can fine-tune this okay so this is the shortcuts then of course we have the permissions so in order for this to work you need to grant some permissions right for spotify for reddit for google apps and etc and etc for the contacts and then of course you have the setup like I did, you can just create a widget on the home screen and then you have also the settings. You have the look and feel, so you can just go for example here, search look and feel, you can just go and choose another theme. Okay, we have the material dark, we have the vibrant theme, we have the dark glass, we have the muted one, we have just a glass, I'm using the material one. You also can choose a team of the widgets right you can also choose all the different bar colors there are a lot of a lot of a lot of customizations but i just want to show you guys this up in action i'm opening the application right see here youtube explore clicking it and i'm going to get directly to my youtube explore right so next google play store geek why because i was searching before for geekbench okay and when i type geek guys i will directly have access to the geekbench application and the geekbank which are already installed on my phone but i can also get a direct access to geek from google play store so opening google play store boom directly with the geek keyword building 
and I know that I might sound a bit funny, but this application really helps it with a lot of things and I just believe that this should be really widely adopted by everybody out there and this is so better than the universal search from Google just the fact that you can just install it on your average Android phone let me just share what happens when I type Spotify I have access right now to all of my playlists guys and then here even these icons here are clickable let me just show you guys if I click here boom the Netflix is gonna get opened and there are plenty of things that you can do let me show you how this integrates with the system setting which I think is really next level all right type settings then I have the battery saver the memory card the privacy and you might think yeah but then what does this do is this saving my time and I can tell you yes see what happens when I click on the privacy boom I directly go to privacy I'm gonna show you more guys when I click here settings notification I'm going to get directly to my settings notification right and I think you pretty much get the idea right settings device info settings cast settings display or even usage access right settings all applications let's go there boom I now have access to settings from all of my applications and I don't have to click like crazy so this really is very 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 powerful and there is only one drawback guys it offers 14 days free trial and then you need to buy it but I think it's something like two euros so it's not so expensive if you like software or applications that enables you with the way you communicate with your phone and just makes your life easier then this Sesame software is for sure something like that I really hope that you have liked the video if that's the case don't forget to like it please you and your family stay safe until we meet in one of my next videos with that said VST over and bye